I think that one of the things human biology does particularly well is to bring opportunities for research to students. And we've got two main programs we do that through. The first program students would encounter is HBREX, which stands for Human Biology Research Explorations. And this is a program that's available to students between sophomore and junior year after they've finished the core. And students don't have to go out and find their own faculty members to work with. We have faculty members who are really interested in working with undergraduate interns and they submit projects to us and uh, students are then allowed to apply to up to three projects and through a matching and interview system um, students are placed with those faculty members and they're paid for the entire summer um, just to stay here and do full-time research and about half of the students who do that continue that research for the rest of their time at Stanford. Another opportunity, research opportunity, that we provide for our students is the Honors Thesis Program. And this is for students who want to spend more than a year very seriously engaged in research in biomedical sciences, ecology, social sciences, that um, really a, a range of um, projects. Students apply winter of their junior year. Um, we try to make the process as professionalizing as possible. So they write a serious research proposal which gets reviewed by experts in the field at Stanford. So they're able to get feedback on the projects that they've designed. In some cases they need to make some modifications and resubmit that, but we feel that that really strengthens the projects that students start doing. We want anybody who starts an honors project to have a very successful experience. Um, students are also able to apply to VPUE for funding to support that research and Stanford is very generous with its funding for undergraduate research. One of our recent grads, Lee Love Andereg, was interested in how aspens use water and how this relates to st sudden aspen decline which um, is a phenomenon that's threatening aspens in the Rocky Mountains. And you might think, well, why would somebody studying trees be majoring in human biology? But he was really interested in how climate change may be endangering these iconic trees, um, how land use change may be contributing to their possible decline, and then how we might be able to design solutions to uh, preserve the areas where these trees will be able to survive. People often ask if HumBio is entirely pre-meds. We're not. Uh, our senior exit surveys indicate that about 45 percent of our students are planning on or thinking about going to med school when they finish and that pretty much matches informal surveys that we do in the core of people coming in. So while a large number of people are pre-med, not everybody is. And furthermore, many of those people who are pre-med are not thinking about going on and being doctors. One of our very interesting students spent the first three years of her time at Stanford believing that she wanted to become a doctor. She realized gradually, I think, that she was more interested in policy and particularly in international human rights and law. So she's now decided that she wants to go to medical school, but she spent the year after graduation in Europe working on international human rights. What they're thinking about is doing something with a health-oriented NGO, maybe working for the government. One of our alums runs clinicaltrials.gov, for example. Uh, or they could be thinking about uh, working in a pharmaceutical company or going into something that's related to exercise physiology. We recently celebrated our 40th anniversary and a number of alums came back to speak and we had a range of people, uh, Nathan Wolf, the virus hunter, looking for clever ways to figure out what the next very scary emerging infectious disease is going to be. Another one of our graduates, Allison Rines, uh, did her honors thesis on cultural evolution and then spent a year abroad with a prestigious fellowship getting a master's degree in England and then returned to Stanford for her graduate work in cultural evolution, examining how ideas and behavior evolve over time in human society.